Hey Scorpio, it's Jay here with at AOHW. I'm back with a monthly forecast for you for the month of March for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Be sure to like this video, comment below if this resonates with you, share and subscribe. Let's get some messages from your angels here, Scorpio. Some messages that I, a message that I tapped into when um, tapping into your energy. Uh, I feel like you guys are going to be challenged this month, challenged by someone. So it feels like you're going back and forth with someone. Either they're challenging your intellect, they're challenging you just in general, uh, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, however they're challenging you. There feels like a back and forth. It could also be very playful. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be combative, but it can be for some of you. And for some of you, it could be a playful energy. So maybe there is someone that you have in mind um as you're um as you're watching this maybe there's just a playful energy with someone that you're 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 dating so that energy came up for you scorpio now let's see what your angels have to say responsibility card is coming out for you for the month of march so a lot of responsibilities on your plate a lot of growth that's happening for you so that could be growth in your career for you as well growth in a relationship but this is also about you being self-disciplined as well this is about you finding empowerment or emp empowering other people maybe there are people that are relying on you this month but there is a lot of fulfillment there is a lot of growth that is happening for you this card is also connected to the solar plexus so it's about you being creative you building your confidence you building your esteem there's a lot that is changing and unfolding for you which i think is super beautiful for you okay um scorpio so i'm also feeling like if some of you also are have been thinking about gardening you can start a garden this month or um some of you have been neglecting your garden um it's a good time for you to go out and show it some love but there is a lot of growth and fulfillment that is coming up for you this month here we also have conclusions are within reach okay conclusions are within reach and this is the full moon eclipse not sure when that will be taking place but this is something you can think about during the full moon the next full moon um, energy but definitely during the full moon eclipse there is a conclusion that is within reach so something you have been wanting to step away from um, something that you have been wanting to release that is definitely coming into your life think about what it is that needs to be let go of that it is time for an ending for something it is that time to do that around the full moon eclipse okay or you can set that in intention like I said during um, the full the next full moon here okay so let's see what else is coming up for you Scorpio don't neglect <laughs> don't don't what don't neglect you don't neglect you huh okay so don't neglect you so maybe that means you guys need to do implement more self-care into your daily regimens, self-care, self-love um, into your daily regimens. We have letting go, releasing relationship to focus on self. So here we go. Remember I said conclusions are within reach. So there is something that needs to be released. And for some of you, that is a relationship. The butterfly is... Um, is connected to metamorphosis, um, a transition, a transformation, okay? So there is something that's taking place for you guys this month, Scorpio, and it feels like it's on a deep level, like, like the universe is working for you in releasing things and people and situations from your life that no longer need to be there, or some of you are actually need to make the decision to let that go. If some of you are fearful of letting go, don't worry, the universe will remove it for you, okay? Whether you're ready or not, okay? So make sure you're ready because if there's something that needs to be let go of, it's going to it's going to be let go of either way, okay? So whether that is a relationship for some of you, that could be a job for some of you, it could just be friendships, however it shows up for you. All right, your present energy is the king of swords energy here. The king of swords is your present energy. Some of you could just be your energy or you could be dealing with someone Aquarius, Libra, or uh, Gemini here, okay? So that King of Swords is someone that is, uh, 
someone, either you're self-sabotaging or you're being manipulated in some sort of way that could be in a work environment or in a relationship. So someone could be manipulating you in a way. Um, it is someone who feels like they have um, authority over you, someone. So that could be a boss or this could be a partner who feels like they're in control of things. You could either be feeling you could also be feeling like you're in control of things. Um, and the only thing I uh, the only thing I can say to you, Scorpio, is that what I tell everyone is that the only thing that we have control over are our actions and our reactions. Okay. Nothing else we have control over. Okay. It's all an illusion here. So you only have control over what you can, how you can respond, how you respond and what you do in certain situations. So I feel like some of you are in the place of maybe feeling detached and maybe this detachment is coming in a relationship as well. You're feeling like a, maybe some of you are feeling a power struggle or you feel like you're in power. And some of you don't even want to be in a place of power, Scorpio. I know that some of you can come off as very powerful. That is the energy that you may exude. But internally, there's your, your water sign. <laughs> you're a water, you can't fool me because I'm a water sign. And I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Pisces sun and a Scorpio rising. So you can't fool me. So there is an energy of you feeling like you think you're in control. There's an illusion of you being in control, but you're just all melty water down inside. Okay, Scorpio. So there is that someone could be breaking down your structure. Okay, you might be feeling that. Or maybe someone is getting in so deep with you, Scorpio, because you are that sign that will put up this energy of like, I have it all together. I'm powerful. I, I know what I know what I want. I need. You're very mysterious in that way. And someone gets underneath that skin, underneath the skin and the layers of how to love you and you break down, your structure breaks down and you become you become your authentic self. You let this mask, you take this mask off, Scorpio. So some of you could be in a multitude of energies right now, that present energy, but either you could be manipulated you can be in this place of feeling detached. You can be in this place of your structure being broken down because someone is loving you in this ooey gooey way that you just can't resist. <laughs> um, but this also is an energy of you being uh, another energy of you being self-disciplined. OK, and, and again, that is like not neglecting you is what spirit is saying. OK, so let's see what obstacles are coming towards you. Or what obstacles that lie ahead for you? We have the Five of Swords energy here. We have more swords. So this could just be energy of the things that you're thinking about, your thoughts, okay? So some obstacles that lie ahead for you. Some of you could be um, in a place of being deceived or deceiving someone or being caught up in something this month that you're trying to get out of. It feels like a battle or some of you are just battling your mind. You're battling yourself in your mind or some of you are coming are being so analytical because remember we have the king of swords here and this is a card of being analytical some of you are so in your head about what this person might be thinking what they might be doing instead of just reaching out to this person so maybe when I the energy that I picked up on at the beginning when I was saying there is you being challenged um this can boil down to all these thoughts <laughs> of just pick the phone up Scorpio, if that's the case, <laughs> pick the phone up and call someone instead of get out of your head and really see what's going on. Okay. If some of you are thinking or in this relationship, this relation, this pertains to a relationship for you and there's a challenge or a back and forth, or you being broken down, your structures being broken down in some sort of way, communicate in that way, get out of your head and just actually get the facts. Okay. Get out of the head and get the facts. Okay. So I feel like some of, for some of you, that is a challenge because you don't, for some of you, you don't want to seem vulnerable, right? You don't want to seem like someone has broken down your structure, although you know internally they got you. <laughs> so, but you don't want to, you don't want to lead them on in the way that they got you. Okay. So it's, it's time for you to just be open. This month is just about being open and letting, and letting this just unfold the way that it's supposed to unfold, okay? Because there's a lot of change that is happening and some of you may be really uncomfortable with change. Some of you are also very uncomfortable with surrendering to what it is that you're feeling because you have to put up this facade you, you have on this mask of this is the person that I'm supposed to be or the person that I am. I'm supposed to be mysterious. I'm supposed to be strong. I'm supposed to be authoritative. I'm supposed to be powerful when no, 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 
No, no, no. Somebody's getting to the core of you and some of you don't like to feel vulnerable. So that shows up for some of you. That could be this obstacle that could be coming up for you. There could be some hostility for some of you that may come up this month, which could be um, an obstacle as well, being hostile with someone. Again, remember I said we're challenged, you're challenging someone. So there's there's a lot of hostility for some of you. And maybe I'm not, I'm not going to say a lot, but there's a moment of or an obstacle that may arise that you may feel hostile hostile or someone's being hostile towards you but again like i said um uh there's a lot of there's a there's an energy of you wanting to win and and the obstacle is that you're not gonna win <laughs> you're not gonna win you just have to let your guard down and, and for some of you that's going to be an obstacle with letting that guard down this month okay so let's see what's happening in your most recent past All right, most recent past energy. Oh no, y'all, I'm getting red lipstick everywhere. I'm, I don't even know how it's coming off my mouth. <laughs> All right, most recent past for Scorpio. We have the High Priestess energy, and um, I like to say this is that that Pisces energy could also be a Virgo energy in getting from this too. Um, but the most recent past, I feel like some of you have come out, you, some of you were mysterious to someone. Someone, you seem like um, you were not an open book to someone. You have, um, some of you have come out of this, play, this, this uh, phase of introspection, of really understanding who you are and what you want. And maybe this pertains to what you want in a relationship or just knowing yourself in general. You've taken some time out. And you've sorted some things out in, within yourself, Scorpio. So now things are beginning to unfold. So I feel most recently you guys probably were in this place of this deep consciousness, this spirituality, if you will, of finding peace and balance and trying to be in alignment with what your true, what your true core values were. Some of you may have even sought out um, psychic readings, you know, tarot readings, have done your own personal one-on-one -on -one readings, which you can do that with me as well. The link is in the description box below. But there is this energy of you trying to um, attain the unattainable here, um, Scorpio. So you've come out of that energy as well. That is what you were recently in of really just being in alignment with self, finding out who you were, who you are, and, and how you can thrive, and really uh, in a place of... Um, becoming knowledgeable about the occult, becoming knowledgeable about a consciousness. Um, so that's where your focus was um, most recently. So let's see what's coming towards you this month. No, let's see, I'm sorry, let's see where you're headed. Let's see where you're headed. See where you're headed is the wheel of fortune. Look at that. <laughs> This is where you're headed. You're headed to, you're headed towards money. That's where you're headed. You're headed towards, um, for some of you, this might be unexpected money that comes in for you as well. This might be an unexpected, unexpected event. Um, when this could be like, you know, someone passing on and leaving you something, you being a beneficiary or they, them leaving you something in a will or, um, you know, a, a trust or your whatever, this is something unexpected that you're heading towards this month, okay? Which this is all with the Wheel of Fortune, I feel it's like it's all good energy that is um, coming up for you, okay, that you're headed towards. There's a lot of change, fate and fortune, fate and fortune, okay? Um, but whatever this is, it is definitely a, it is definitely a destiny. I feel like you've already taken the journey and it's as part of the destiny, right? And so when we reach destiny, we're already, we're still on the journey. It's just you've reached a point of the journey where it was a, a completion. So for some of you, if you have been seeking out money or some of you have been looking for a new job or looking for a promotion, there is an elevation of in something, an elevation in your money. There is also um, you things turning, things turning around, okay? Like your life doing a 180, okay? So hopefully that's for the good. So that will of fortune is here is where you're headed to. And let's see what's coming towards you. 
Um, I'm also hearing that your living situation is going to change as well. So I don't know how that shows up. Hopefully it's for the best for you, um, Scorpio, but your living situation is also going to change what's coming towards Scorpio this month. We have two of Pentacles energy here. Look at that. More money on the board. So I, I feel like what's coming towards you is you learning how to balance, you learning how to juggle your money or juggle this work and play, juggle work in a relationship. It's something that you have been trying to master, which I feel like you've been in that place most recently of that high priestess energy. Remember we talked about of really um, stepping into this sacred knowledge and, and, and really tapping into your authenticity and really figuring out what is attainable for you. So I feel like now what's coming towards you is you learn how to juggle um, life in play, life in a relationship. So I feel like also um, with the two of, of, of pinnacles, um, some of you might have a financial stress that may come up, but who's worried about anything when you have the will of fortune, okay? When you have this coming in for you, like that's coming in for you, okay? So there's really no need to stress about anything. And maybe that is spirit saying no need to stress. That all the work that you have done consciously, now you have built your faith and your trust that you can now move forward with whatever it is that you want to do and, and, and it's going to work out in your favor, okay? So again, this is about you adapting to this new life because remember with the will of fortune, your life is changing. So there is an adaptation that uh, a, a behavior of, of adaptation that needs to um, that you need to um, sort of step into. It's the only words that I can think of. Um, because there's a change. There's a lot of juggling that's going on. So like I said, finances, work, play. All of that stuff you're going to have to juggle. So that's what's coming towards you as well. It's 333 on the clock too. So I feel like our angels are saying this is the truth. The juggle, the juggle is real. <laughs> but for some of you, this is a good thing. Okay. So let's see what's happening around you. What's happening in your environment, Scorpio? We have the moon energy here. The moon. Definitely Pisces energy here. Um, <clears throat> either some of you are dealing with or... Um, this is just energy that you're um, you're exuding or it's in your chart. So I feel like what's happening around you are these illusions, right? These because remember where I talked about you being broken down, your structure, your structure being broken down in a way where you coming off is very mysterious to someone and like you have it all together or you're this what they see on the outside and you're really just this ball, this ball of gushy, <laughs> a ball of love. You don't have to put on up this facade of being powerful and having it all together. So I feel like with this, um, the moon energy here of like those illusions being broken down, secrets are being revealed. Okay. Um, people, um, who were, People who had a misconception of you now get to know you for who you are, Scorpio, and they freaking love you, okay? So I feel like those are things that ha are happening around you. Like there's been hidden information that people are just judging a book by its cover. And I feel like all of this now is revealed here with the with the moon energy here. And, and now is revealed and there's no takes, no takesy backsies, okay, Scorpio? Let it all out, Okay. Excuse me, my throat is really dry. Okay, so that is what's happening around you, Scorpio. Now, let's see what you're hopeful for. We're almost going to close this thing out. What you're hopeful for this month is the Knight of Pentacles. You guys are all about money this month. Seriously, this Knight of Pentacles energy here. So you guys are hopeful for remaining in a place of being ambitious, okay, and persistent with whatever with this person, persistent with your career, persistent on starting this business. However it shows up for you, you're definitely, um, persistence is your theme for this month. It's like you keep going regardless of what obstacles are in that, that, are, that lie ahead, you're going to keep moving. But this is a slow moving process, but that also tells me that this that you learn a lot of lessons from this. You learn, 
you learn, I, I was going to say skill and technique, and I don't know where that where that's coming from, but maybe it is a skill and technique that you learn this month to start that business, or <clears throat> maybe it's a, a skill or technique you learn for the bedroom to please your person, however it shows up. But this is slow moving, which makes me understand that there is a lot of thought and comprehension that goes into what it is that you're learning in that so that you can apply that to whatever it is that you need to apply it to okay so this is about um establishing a reputation for some of you as well this is saying to be pa be patient okay that is one of the most important things is to be patient it's one of the things that our guides tell us all the time and you're like, I've been patient for years. When is this going to unfold? Okay. So remain hopeful, <laughs> be patient and, uh, and be ambitious and be persistent in whatever it is that you're, <clears throat> excuse me, moving forward in. Okay. And the final outcome for you, Scorpio, final outcome is. The King of Cups. King of Cups energy is your final outcome here. All right, so this King of Cups energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, your energy, Scorpio here, of you feeling emotionally balanced, you being passionate about life in your relationship, you're caring, you're loyal, you feel stable, you feel in alignment, you feel balanced, you feel peaceful. Um, you're a giver. You're someone who wants to see um, wants to see your person or yourself or your family and your friends. You want to see them succeed just as you would want that for your want them to do that for you. So this is all about good energy this month with this uh, final outcome with this King of Cups here is a lot of like, uh, like I said, movement that's happening, uh, a lot of transitioning that's happening, transitioning spiritually, physically, environmentally. There's a lot that's uh, unfolding for you, which I feel is pretty awesome. And I feel like you deserve this Scorpio because you've obviously worked hard to have whatever it is that's coming for coming towards you or that you're already in. So keep doing you Scorpio. Okay. But remember to let that guard down, allow yourself to, um, Feel what you feel and not put up this, not put on this mask to be this person that you think you should be, right? Because that person's already taken. You need to be you, okay? That's the thing for the month is just be you and do you this month, okay, Scorpio? That is your reading for this month. Thank you all for tuning in. Again, be sure to like, comment below. Give me a heart emoji, okay? And make sure you share this and subscribe, guys. And I will see you very soon. Many blessings, love, and light. Peace, guy. Bye, Scorpio.